This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Oh, hip hip, welcome back to Miles oh, Edgeworth. I forgot that's where we were Prosecutor's at. Path. <laughs> or actually, I'm not interviewing Sebastian. We're cross-examining Justin Courtney Ooh. today, everybody. I forgot. Get out your best British voice, Marty. Or your worst British voice, Beaufort. <laughs> so, you continue to believe Mr. Keys is the murderer? Just as you continue to speak as if he's not. Do you have any decisive evidence? Do you know the identity of the true criminal? You do realize you need proper evidence, too. I am the representative of the goddess of law. My words are her holy orders. We've got a bit of a god complex lately. What's with the people in this game thinking they're god? <laughs> Shall we pardon this, this sin? sin? <laughs> Indeed. If I state something is black, it is black. If I state something is white, it is white. If you state something is white, that is white is black, then you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you call Grey? If you wish to disprove my words, then present your evidence at once. Since Mr. Elbow did not see the, pro the body when he <laughs> passed through. Is that a female Cockney accent? Or, oh, uh, no. I know male Cockney accents, but... Female Cockney accent? Yay! <laughs> it's more like when you watch, uh, My Fair Lady. <laughs> That's actually... Oh, well, maybe it's just because I'm American. I think that sounds pretty good. Once you, you watch My Fair Lady, it's very over-exaggerated. I'm also a person where I'm like, Dick Van Dyke had a great British accent, and everyone's like, he has a terrible, terrible British, British accent. accent. Yeah. I'm like, I thought it was great. Couldn't it be possible that Elber just failed to notice the body? Mary Poppins in the best of the... the, the yeah! <laughs> That's the movie! <laughs> That's the movie! <laughs> Miss Assistant's assistant, did you also enter the hole? Ah, uh -huh. how'd you know? I noticed that there was some mud stuck on your lovely hair ornament yesterday. That's amazing! Your powers of observation would even put a great thief to shame. What was that? <laughs> In the name of the goddess of law, answer me truthfully. <laughs> if there were a dead body in that tunnel, would it have escaped your notice? I really feel like I need to burp, but I can't. Um, <laughs> you have to burp, Charlie. <laughs> exactly. Well, the thing is, um, yeah, I think I would have noticed something like that. As long as you don't burp on Justine, it should be fine. If Kay burps, it's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> even, even females must burp. Um, do you understand now? <laughs> yes, Mr. I understand. Mr. Elvin did not see the body. If it, if it, it could only have happened during the show. The body was dropped down the well during the show. I'd like to hear your reasoning for this. The day before the show, Mr. Elbert lent the key to Mr. Knightley. The key to Knightley's cell, huh? Mr. Knightley escaped from his cell with the key and entered the cage Mr. Keys had prepared. Mr. Keys then moved the cage to the courtyard and proceeded to murder Mr. Knightley. The next day, when Mr. Elbert passed through the tunnel, he did not come across the body. Please wait a minute! That doesn't seem right at all! Wasn't there a sweet smell in the tunnel? Mr. Knightley must have passed through it! Mr. Knightley passed through the tunnel after Mr. Elbert did. Mr. Elbert passed through the tunnel at the start of the show. However, the body was not found until the end of the show. Which is why you believe the body was dropped during the show. Yes, and there is only one person who could have carried out this act. Only one who could have performed it was the suspect. Or literally the elephant. <laughs> it's the elephant's actually the real criminal. <laughs> Just put the sunglasses The murder on the weapon elephant. was one of its tusks. <laughs> so, um, there is no one else who could have committed the murder. I heard that Miss Barry was present on the stage at all times. A great number of the prisoners were also watching the show. And Miss Barry, I'm sure. Even the- what? And Miss Barry- never mind. Oh. Even the prisoners who did not see it have sufficient alibis. I was just saying because she's like the cutesy girl. Oh yeah, all the, all the guys would be like, Oh yeah, Bajina Barry. Bajina Barry, that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see now, I want to see a movie starring a girl named Bajina. <laughs> I know there's Richard You know Bangelina, my girlfriend? <laughs> Bangelina. She left me, man. How about the guards? 
Along with the warden, nearly everyone was watching the show. It was the best show ever. <laughs> the guards were. <laughs> yeah, but there must have been a chance for even one of them to approach the well. During the show, none of the guards left their, po their posts. That much is certain. They all testified as such. Ugh. Interviewed every single stupid guard. <laughs> there were a lot of weird voices to go for. <laughs> yeah. There's no, left, she's left no room for oversight. Do you finally admit that only Simon Keyes could have been the criminal? Judge Courtney has not thoroughly examined the courtyard like we have. <laughs> so there's a bit of a gap in her argument, right? I should review the evidence we obtained in the courtyard. Okay. Ray's really skinny. Oh yeah, he's, he stays in shape. Okay, so the Simon's device, Simon used this for the big stunt during the, the show. The big one. <laughs> for the X Games in the Goofy movie. <laughs> Someone switched the weights at the bottom. Oh, ex I'm very sorry. Found the Goofy movie had the possum thing. <laughs> the electric chair. <laughs> What? It was like the that. one part was just like they randomly bring up the electric chairs. Like, what? Why? <laughs> uh, found in the break room with the prison courtyard was it used was it used on the night of the murder before the body was found. All right. So, so it's, it's one of those two. I just don't know which. So it's probably one this on. one. Someone switched the weights with the body. During the show, only person who could have performed such. So I actually don't remember. We'll just save and we'll figure it out. Okay, well, we forgot it! <laughs> and Joe's like, it's so easy. Anyone can figure it out. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Judge Courtney, your argument doesn't hold any water. Just like the well. There was a device set up around the well here. What is this device of which you speak? Oh, it's that simple. It's just the the, me the mechanism was in the way, so no one could drop it during the, in the well. Because yeah, there's the lock. Yeah, but I... But also, I thought it was like she was saying they dropped it from the device, because he was used as the weight. No, because she didn't know the device even That's existed. Right. Are you aware of the stunt in which Mr. Keyes is blown away by the elephant during the show? I have heard of it. It would have been right before he exits the stage. He tied one end of a length of rope to himself, and the other end to a set of weights. Man, Judge Courtney would be so boring to hang out with. <laughs> like, she's not the girl who's, like, going out with her girlfriends, like, night out on the town. I, I honestly don't want a girl, though, like that. <laughs> No, but I'm not, I'm not saying, like, you want a crazy person. I'm saying, like, she just doesn't seem like someone who's even fun. Every like, Tuesday night, I go bowling. <laughs> bowling? <laughs> With Dumbledore, who likes it, too. <laughs> Does Dumbledore like bowling? He likes 10-pin bowling. I it's, forgot. His Chocolate Frog card says that. I forgot about that. He oh, was... does that say that in the Harry Potter game that we have no. for the GameCube? No, it says so in the first book. Oh, I forgot. It's been so long since I've read those. He was able to perform the stunt by dropping these weights down the well. Objection! <laughs> Wouldn't he have spent the whole play suspended up in the air? That's why he had a stopper attached to the weighted end. The stopper was removed by pulling another rope. Around the well, we found evidence that the weights were switched with the victim's body. This was done by the real killer in order to shift suspicion away from them. I'm, like, just now remembering that this is a fan-translated game. Yeah, like it's so plus. good. Also, I'm just thinking of the names that they chose, too, were perfect. Oh, Simon yeah. Simon Keys, where it's like, Yo, the, the keys, he gotta get the keys out to his son. Oh, yeah, and you know the real pun behind that? What? <sighs> monkeys. Sigh. Monkeys. Because oh. he's got money the monkey on his back. Yeah. And also his poses mimic the free monkeys. He, like, see no evil, hear no evil, yeah, speak yeah. no evil. There yeah, it's very good. <laughs> Judging from the time of death, the murder was carried out in the early morning of the show. The true criminal had until the time the show started to set up the device. But, but didn't Simon Keys make that thing? And since he was also the one who used it, he is the best suspect! Man, that guy ain't going to prom. Don't you agree? <laughs> I agree, you're not going to prom. <laughs> that guy's not going to prom. He'd be so obnoxious. If Mr. Keys were the murderer, he would have not needed to do that. Miss Barry? Yes? Was there anyone else who knew of the device he set up? Well, let me see. Since we had to get everything about our show approved by the people here at the prison, I'd say there were others who knew about it. And there you have it. Overruled. And they had to make the custom overruled text. 
Would they have? Yeah, because that didn't exist in any of her games. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because, yeah, it would have been in Japanese. Japanese. Capcom! Capcom. I see. You have indeed proved a thorough investigation. Perform. <laughs> oh. Well, she's also proved that. Which is why I'm even further perplexed. Why do you not use your efforts for justice? My actions are not just. Who made that decision? You cannot understand even that, even now. Providing support to an <laughs> providing support to a defense attorney, despite being a prosecutor, it is quite unnatural. This goes against the rules. I am merely choosing to do what I think is right at this particular time. I travel down the road I have chosen. Your comprehension does not matter in the least. However, if anyone intends to interfere, I will show no mercy. Perhaps this is a calling from the goddess of law. If you intend to rebel against her divine will, I will have no choice but to hand down my verdict. Pay heed to my words. I have one more reason to suspect Simon Keys of murder. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> he confessed earlier. No. no <laughs> reason for suspicion. Oh, it just started this before the testimony starts. If the body came from the courtyard, how was Mr. Knightley brought here from the detention center? Only Simon Keys could have provided such an opportunity. Because of this fact, I find it most difficult to suspect any other party of this crime. While Simon Keyes was moving supplies for the show, he visited Mr. Knightley's cell. Does that not strike you as odd? Why else would he have brought a large covered cage with him? Oh, that does seem pretty suspicious. You saw the CG of him carrying the massive thing. <laughs> Where he, had to, he had to haul all the stuff. <laughs> And keep in mind, he's 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 under 133 pounds. Clearly. <laughs> so it must have been hard How for him. How tiny is Kay, then? Is she, like, 90 pounds? What the heck? She's not that small. Simon, you thought Simon was a girl at first. I did. He's, he's a pretty petite guy. <laughs> I thought he was a girl. It's Some of it's his sprite from yeah. afar. Mr. Keys was merely that kind of person. It is entirely possible that he carelessly brought it here. If that is possible, then it is also possible that he was assisting in the escape. Am I wrong? Hmm. I suppose I must refute her theory with evidence. If the body came from the courtyard... You seem to believe that Knightley was killed in the courtyard. So, can you say when he was brought here? On the day of the show, between midnight and 8 a.m. I am positive it could only have been during that time. So after rehearsal had ended and before the show began. The most pressing issue is... How was Mr. Knightley brought here? Are you certain there were no other routes? A trial date has not yet been set, uh, determined for Mr. Knightley. Since he was not a prisoner, he could not have easily entered the prison. He would have to stood he would have stood out too much. Meaning no one testified seeing him there. He does have a neck brace, so it would be hard yeah, to hide. Yeah, it would be hard. Well done! May you be blessed by the goddess of law. As I said, Mr. Knightley was taken into the prison through a less conspicuous matter. Manner. <laughs> Only Simon Keys. <laughs> one of the two manners is very suspicious. The other one's not conspicuous at all. Uh, not at all. Are you certain that he was the only person who had the opportunity? Have you forgotten? This is a prison. Due to the constant supervision, it would be impossible to do anything unusual. Then, wouldn't it be the same for Mr. Keys? The warden has shown favor to the Barry Big Circus. Simon Keys is a circus member. Miss Barry's apprentice, no less. It could only have been him. He was able to move about freely within the facility. It seems that you forgot to mention that. The word forget does not exist in my di dictionary. Who is this, Wesley Stickler? <laughs> I thought I, I thought she was gonna say um. 
what's another not dictionary in my encyclopedia thesaurus no it started with a c in my oh in my vocabulary 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 that does not start with a c no nope, but there's a vocabulary vocabulary then it would be prudent for you to add this to your argument mr keys may have been the only person who could move around freely in the prison but on the day of the murder there was a gap in time missing from the surveillance records during that time, anyone could have done as they pleased. Do I have proof of this gap in the surveillance records? Yes, circuit um, breaker. And... And also that. I mean, just in case it's wrong. Mr. Keys wasn't the only one who had the opportunity. Who else could have had the opportunity? The timestamp on the security camera is off by three hours. This means there was a three hour gap in time. During that time, anyone could have done it. If that were the case, then this murderer would have created the gap in time intentionally. It would not have been a simple camera failure. Are you saying that is possible? I don't think we've ever seen that sprite. Which one? The oh, one there. Where with, she's with, like... With her, with her hand. No, we saw that earlier in this Did very we? episode, yeah. Oh! It's her I angry just face. didn't notice it. In this courtyard, we found the circuit breaker for the security camera. And it was possible to access the breaker room both before and after the murder. What? Unfortunately, it appears that you have fallen short of your intentions. Mr. Edgeworth hasn't fallen short of anything. Mm hmm. So can you explain how the murderer obtained the key to the breaker room? Oh yeah, that's right. It was locked, wasn't it? The warden hangs onto the key, right? The breaker room has great importance, even in a prison. Uh, it's probably more important. There's no one who would be able to attain, obtain the key so easily. Objection! Well, I can think of someone. What did you say? This person, the murderer, was able to get the key. They didn't even need to steal it. Objection! There can't be anyone like that! But besides, the break into the electrified fence is in that room, too! Only one person could have done this. I didn't want to believe it myself, but I trust that my logic is sound. The person who used the key to enter the breaker room is... Um... Uh... So I wanna... Can we not look at our normal evidence? No. Okay. I feel like I forgot she long lane. He was there. in it for like two seconds. He was there for two seconds. <laughs> If it's someone who needed to have the key, wouldn't it be the warden? She'd be the only one, right? The murderer is... Warden Roland. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Oh my, what an energetic little puppy. That's because this dog is extremely fond of sweets. It seems to detect a sweet scent on you. Oh, heavens no, I'm not even wearing perfume or anything of that sort. What the dog detects is the sweet scent of death. How poetic. <laughs> However, doesn't that not imply that I committed a murder? That's what I think. What? The warden is the murderer. Mr. Edgeworth, are you serious about your statement? Oh, ho, ho, how amusing. The very thought of a warden committing a murder. It sounds like something out of a mystery novel. Which we're kind of playing. Which we're kind of playing, and also, she's kind of like Flurry from Paper Mario. Flurry would totally kill- uh, Flurry killed so many people in that game. <laughs> Did she? If you use her as a partner and kill the game. Well, yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Precisely. Your reasoning is in contempt. Nothing of the sort. I do not want to believe it myself, but... Based on the evidence, I have no choice but to believe it. This evidence proves that Warden Roland is the murderer. The circuit breaker? Is that it? This proves you are the murderer. Treating me like a criminal just because of that is so cruel. That doesn't even have anything to do with me. No! That wasn't it. Missile's reaction to Warden Roland earlier. What was the cause of it? I need to let that guide me to the answer. 
I suppose your accusation was nothing more than a joke in poor taste after all. No, it was not, Warden Roland. You are the murderer. I wonder if, like, if she gets revealed to be the murderer, she'll, like, take off her coat and there's just, like, a million tattoos <laughs> and, like, <laughs> things all over her, just like, oh, look at how bad I am. <laughs> then why don't you show us the evidence? <laughs> you... You've literally given her the exact voice as uh, the wine lady from Ghost Trick. Yeah, I have. Exactly. This is my darling husband. No one cares. I care. Okay, well, you know what? I, I don't have every single voice in the universe already. <laughs> no, but you... Eh, that's fine. The smell gave you away. <laughs> as you can plainly see, someone has taken notice. <laughs> <laughs> this police dog... He tracked a sweet smell that came from the body. And right now, he is telling us that the same scent is also on Ward and Roland. Oh, 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 you're a cruel one to accuse me of murder based on something like that. How are you supposed to laugh like that? Like, <laughs> or like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Right, Justine, darling. Oh, oh, she's having doubts. It appears that Judge Courtney has reached the same conclusion as I have. Mr. Edgeworth, this couldn't have just been a coincidence, could it? The key to the breaker room and the same scent on the body. If it were only one, it could have easily been seen as such. It appears we have reached a conclusion. We should now listen to what the warden has to say. Indeed, until we do, we cannot close this case. Oh my goodness. Everyone with such scary faces. So I'm the only one who could have been the murderer? Stop kissing that your- That just cannot be. <laughs> Stop kissing your ferret or mink. She has mink. like a million- She has a million rings. <laughs> She's like- That's how you know I'm rich. It, yeah. <laughs> Why I can't be the killer, question mark? I heard all about the case from Justine, darling, here. Had I committed the murder, it would have taken place inside the holding cell. But I couldn't have moved the body. I never went into the prison. I was caught up in my work until, up until the show, I was stuck in my office. Check up on it if you'd like. You'll find there's no record of me entering the prison. Maybe she secretly is, like, super buff and looks exactly <laughs> like one of the guards. And so then she threw on the guard uniform. Like, the coat just makes her look more feminine and then she takes it off. She's just, like, looks like a dude. A dude looks like a lady! lady. Yeah. I don't know what reasoning you had, but I can say for certain... I cannot be the killer. But missile bark that you pal! That proves you're a murderer! <laughs> you gotta be the culprit! Oh heavens, it's not possible. I already told you I never went to the prison. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check the records? She wants us to check the records? She does seem confident. Here's the thing, she's the warden. She could also wipe her records. <laughs> There's like absolutely she could do that. <laughs> I need fake footage. <laughs> no, I meant like I thought it was more if you, like, swipe in for work, you know what I mean? No, I think we were talking about the video cameras. She knows where the video cameras are. It could be, like, the, it could be like the video tape thing with the blue badger that pans <laughs> back and <laughs> forth. Gumshoe, can you deliver the blue badger here? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> for, now, for now, all we can do is listen to her and try to draw out more information. I do hope you understand, Mr. Edgeworth. If she is the killer, that means Ray, Uncle Ray kissed a killer. <laughs> or got kissed by a killer. Oh, that sounds like a- definitely sounds like a rock song. Kiss the killer. Kiss the killer. <laughs> From Judge Courtney, are you too close? As close as fish and water, are you jealous? No, j j jealous On the first day of the investigation, she filled us in on the situation. In exchange for our cooperation, she explained the details of the case to us. How could you say that? You're so mean, Justine, darling. Mm -hmm. The truth is the truth. I believe she... It, 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 I believe it should be told as such. For, for some reason, those two seem kind of... scary. Had I committed the murder, it would have taken place somewhere else. <laughs> In McDonald's. <laughs> In McDonald's. <laughs> The murder occurred inside McDonald's. How can you be so certain about that? 
Well, everywhere else would have been under surveillance, right? <laughs> McDonald's is the one place in the world with no video cameras. I feel like that is one of the few places there would be video cameras. <laughs> and we might have our episode title. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's, the only place not under surveillance. <laughs> and the victim's blood was found there, too. That blood was actually from when he was struck by Elbert, but... I don't think it's necessary to inform her of this fact. That doesn't mean it's proven. You do know that. But I see no contradictions in assuming the crime scene was at the detention center. But I couldn't have moved the body. Mm -hmm. I'm so weak because I'm a woman. <laughs> but she says that, not me. <laughs> yeah. You never went into the prison? Do you have proof of this? My, my, can't you wait for me to finish? <laughs> Actually, Knightley just had rocks in his pocket, so he like, wait an extra month on <laughs> <laughs> you could remove that stuff. <laughs> it takes too long. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was caught up, up in, in my work. work. <laughs> you were in your office the whole time? Nothing strange happened? No, nothing at all. Psych locks. Were you looking at for something? I'm not too good at tidying up. I always forget where I put everything. The other day, I even lost track of an important piece of evidence. How, how could you have made such a grave error? If someone were to take something from me, I wouldn't even notice the entire year. Hmm. I guess it will be hard to attack with the key to the breaker room. On the day of the incident, I was working in my office and searching for lost items. In other words, I couldn't have gone to the prison even if I wanted to. Check up on it if you'd like. You did not enter the prison from the entrance. But what if there was another route? Oh my, are you suggesting something like a secret passage? I don't know if anything like that exists. It is my firm belief you did possess an alternative route. That route was neither the entrance nor a secret passage. The route you used was from here. Just the warden's office? And there's a door connecting these. The barbed wire fence? You would have moved nightly to your office first. This office leads directly to the garden side of the courtyard. If you had moved through here and passed through the barbed wire fence, you would have arrived at the prison without passing through the entrance or a tunnel. <laughs> I wonder what Mr. Edgeworth is saying. Haven't you noticed? There's a high voltage current running through the fence. Yeah! <laughs> Obviously she couldn't have passed through it like that! The current to the fence could be switched off at the breaker room. And you were the only one who had the key, Warden Roland. Most amusing. However, the breaker room is located on the prison side of the courtyard. How would the Warden have accessed it from the detention center? Ah, quite right. Gotcha there, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> that's... Maybe that's why she wears that fur coat. It, like, stops all electric... <laughs> no, you know what right. she did? <laughs> Follow me again. <laughs> I forgot about that's that That's a fantastic scene. Mr. Fox reference. Please... Well, actually, that's a very polarizing movie. You'll either love it and think it's hilarious, or you're gonna or be like, like, why, why is this funny? Why is this funny? I can't explain why it's funny. It's just hilarious it's just, to me. It's amusing. It's the only movie I've seen with George Clooney in it. I'm not gonna eat mud. Cause mud. yeah, you Also, are. it has Owen Wilson for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Literally 30 seconds. How could you not like the And movie? you know we love Owen Wilson. <laughs> I don't know why we like Owen Wilson. Oh, uh, it's because I do voices occasionally. If it's it's cause it's cause we grew up with watching cars, because that was yep. like our generation. Midnight in Paris. And then is Midnight great. in Paris <laughs> starring um uh, Lightning McQueen, I mean uh, Owen Wilson. <laughs> why were they in the bathroom? Why were they in the bathroom? I, I, I don't I, know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> If there's no record of her passing through the prison entrance, it would not have been possible for her to turn off the fence's breaker. Nah, <sighs> But Gordon Roland was the only one who had access! <laughs> don't let this phase you, Miles. But if I don't have a solution for this, she'll get away! Now, Uncle Ray never said, don't think, you know. It's just not good to be so stubborn about it. That's all. But, no matter how you think about it, Warden Roland couldn't have done this alone. Hmm? Prosecutor Edgeworth, if you have failed to come up with a new part- 